between friends. The teacher tells the students to talk in pairs to each other as friends and talk about anything they want to. The teacher supervises and helps them with their mistakes, etc. Thereafter, the following pieces of conversation are enacted by two students in each case. Hello Deepak, how are you? Hello Puneet, I'm fine. Seeing you after a long time. Yes, indeed. I think it is more than a year since we met. Where have you been all these months? Actually, we shifted to Delhi about seven months ago. I have come with my parents to have a holiday here. That's great. How long are you going to be here? For two weeks, I suppose. You must visit us with your parents sometime. Yes, of course, we'll. I never got to know when you left for Delhi. How's it so? I'm sorry for that, Deepak. Everything happened so suddenly. We had only four days to pack up and leave. Never mind that. Which school are you going to in Delhi? I am going to Vasant Valley School in Delhi. How's the school? The school is quite good. Teachers are very strict but helpful. You must have made some good friends in the new school. Yes, I've made a few friends who are also my classmates. But I miss all my old friends of our school in Mumbai. For so long we had been together. I miss all the games we played together and the tiffin we shared during the break. Yes, even I and others in our class remember you a lot. Especially when we play cricket. You were a great captain of our team. I'm sure you get to play as much cricket in Delhi. True. I play for my school cricket team, though I'm not a captain yet. In fact, I play a lot of cricket in the evening in our residential colony. Why don't you visit our school here? Then you will be able to meet your old friends. They will be very glad to see you. I would surely like to do that. Should I make it tomorrow itself? Why not, Puneet? Tomorrow also happens to be our school sports day. The perfect day for you to visit the school. Please don't tell any of my friends about it. I'll give them all a surprise. That's a good idea. Day after tomorrow, I'm going with my parents to Khandala for an outing. Why don't you join us? Is that day Saturday? Yes, right, it is. I have a holiday. I'll surely come with you. I shall get some games and homemade snacks also. Okay, see you tomorrow in the school. Okay, bye for now. Hello, is that Meera? Speaking. Meera, this is Revati. Hello. Meera, you know India International Trade Fair is on at Pragati Medan. I was wondering if we could visit it tomorrow. That's a wonderful idea. Why not make it today? Not today, as I'm a bit busy. Let's make it tomorrow if you don't have any problem. Okay, that's fine with me. Rahul is coming with us. Why don't you also bring your brother Sameer with you? Right now he's not at home. But I'm sure he will be very happy to be a part of this outing. Is it fixed then? Most definitely. Where should we meet? Let's meet at gate number 2 at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. Is the time all right with you? Oh, yes. Whosoever reaches earlier shall wait for the other. That's right. See you tomorrow then. Bye till then. Bye. What are you studying right now? I'm doing my English assignment. Do you really want to learn English? Yes, I do. Very much. Why do you want to learn English? Because it will be useful for me in the future. If you want to learn English, you must speak it and use it. But I can't speak a word of any language except my own. What's the hardest thing that you find about English? For me... Pronunciation is the hardest thing. In that case, speaking becomes all the more necessary. I sometimes feel very discouraged. What about? When people talk to me in English, they seem to talk too fast. You'll have to listen faster then. Learning a language is really difficult. But once you have learnt it, 
everything becomes so easy, doesn't it? I suppose so.